Welcome back. I'm Michael Ball. This is the Commercial Real Estate Show. We're talking apartments with Stephen DeFrancis, Benno Rothschild, and Jamie Tebow here in Studio One. And I'd like to finish up the show with some of the trends that you guys are seeing in the marketplace. Well, one of the things we uh, were, are seeing a little bit is, um, is larger unit size. Uh, people are looking for more space, uh, and that's really for a variety of reasons. I think some people are looking um, to be able to raise kids in their apartments now. Um, there's just a different demographic change, and especially um, older people who are coming out of houses that, you know, they're coming out of a five, 6,000 square foot house uh, to go down to an 800 foot apartment does not seem like the kind of thing they want to do. So they might want to add that extra bedroom um, for their stuff, yeah. and also maybe to have their grandkids come visit. Yeah. Kids. Oh, man. Oh, I got my son here in the studio. We don't want kids in our apartments, do we? They're just going to mess things up. That's right. <laughs> and, Stephen, what do you see? What kind of trends are you seeing? You know, the trend that we are seeing uh, is a little less specific, but it's the capability or the ability to uh, create more value by investing in the property, the traditional property management side of the business. Um, you know, we've spent a lot of effort and a lot of folks are today on the you know, the actual built environment, the, the location, the walkability, the, you know, micro unit, macro unit, you know, all these things that have to do with the product. But we are also seeing a big opportunity to, to move the needle if you really invest in and focus on the operating side of the platform. You know, the, the reason we're able to, to get ever higher rents is because we're uh, seeing a, a higher and higher demographic in the renter profile. Um, and what comes along with that is an opportunity that if you do a better job of meeting their needs and catering to them as a customer, you can, you know, see better results at the bottom line. And I think that's, uh, you know, on a general, a general point where we're seeing a lot of opportunity. Well, I appreciate that because I think when you show your customers your care and you're providing great service, whether it's your tenants or your investors, it's going to make things work well. Sure. Uh, it's interesting. I had a uh, dry cleaner that did terrible work. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you go in there, your suits and your they're all crumpled, everything. But when you went in there, they knew your name, they knew your children's name. They they talked about how wonderful your car looked, even though it was old. <laughs> how great they were to see you, and it was the service level, right? And that's what you're talking about. I mean, sure. that's so important. Sometimes that makes it hard to change things yeah. when you like the people you're dealing with, yeah. even if you don't like exactly some other aspects yeah. of it. You say, well, you know, but I like that guy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The reality is, historically in our space, our customer, you know, everybody who ran a multifamily company looked at their investors as their customers yeah and property management who really dealt with their customers was sort of this group that was down the hall that yeah. you know was to some degree a necessary evil part of the business yeah they're not Did, they were not getting the respect that they deserved as the group that was on the front line yeah. dealing with the customers day in and day out. Yeah, good point. They're not units, they're residences, right? <laughs> they're not That's tenants, right. they're residences. Uh, Jamie, what do you see? We see, um, we're living in an Apple world today, mm -hmm. right? Everybody's walking around with iPads, iPhones, and they're on 24-7. And so I really think uh, in, in today's real estate world, you have to make sure you're available 24-7 for your uh, residents. And whether that means online portal, electronic leases um, that's what they're looking for they want to be able to communicate and they want to be able to communicate via technology not necessarily face-to-face -face. Um, and what sort of goes hand in hand with that is the social media platform yeah. you know today reviews and ratings are so very important in the apartment search and so you need to make sure you have a social media strategy for your company in order to be successful how are you going to handle online reviews how are you going to respond to online reviews? Um, and it's really an important part uh, of the business today versus yeah. just a few years ago. We appreciate you guys being on the show today. Great information. Thanks for being with us. Thanks for thank you. Thanks for having me here. And thank you for joining us on the radio stations around the country or YouTube or iTunes or wherever you're catching the show, maybe commercialrealestateshow.com. We appreciate you being with us. Well, you want to be with us next week. We're going to have ULI and PWCs emerging trends in real estate. They're going to visit us from New York, come down here and share the highlights of that report. Until next week, be sure that you always lead, learn, and laugh, and join us for the Commercial Real Estate Show.
there. Thanks for checking out the Commercial Real Estate Show. Don't miss a video of special interest to you. Be sure to subscribe below. And if you appreciate the videos, be sure and thank our sponsors. There's a link to more information about them in the description. For more videos, podcasts, and articles, check out CREshow.com.